What is going on guys? Welcome back to video number 17. And in this video, I want to go ahead and alter our content.php page because this could work if this is like a high school or a college product project, but I was looking at it and I decided that it doesn't look that good at all. And I want to make it look a lot more professional. I mean, I like the structure. It's pretty much just the CSS I'm talking about. Everything we've done as far as connecting to our database and pulling in our information has worked out perfectly. I just want to give this, I mean, like we got the padding right here. I don't know why I decided to do that. I set this to a percentage and not pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and just work on the CSS in this video. So in the event that you really want to use this CMS to start a company or build a website or something. So first things first, what do I want to do? I want to grab my top padding from my content and I'm going to backspace that, save this, reload that. Perfect. Okay. Now, what do I want to do? I'll go to my content.php page. I want to add another table cell. And again, we're using tables because I don't want to spend too much time with CSS, you know, float left, clear right, clear both, float right. I just want to give it a table, but I just want to have this table cell be a lot bigger than the other one. And we'll call this, we'll just call this main. That's cool with you guys. Let me close it out before I forget. And in here, we'll just give it like an H2 or an H3. We'll go with H2. And I'll just call this main content. Go ahead and close that out. That showed up. Okay, but let's add a little bit more CSS to it. I want to add some more CSS to this as well. So where is our CSS page? Okay. I'm going to start with our navigation bar, which is our first cell right here. I want to work on this. This is our first cell in our table. And I want to create, what do I want to do? I want to go ahead and give this a width of 150. And I'll give it a, give it a height. Mm, I don't even want to, I'll just take height out and see how that looks. Let me save this. Okay, let's give it some padding. So let's go ahead and give it, I'll just do one EM for top and bottom, two EMs for left and right, let's see how that looks. Okay, well, I gotta make it a little bit bigger because I don't want this to be on this separate line. Let's go ahead and create our width to 170 in the nav. Let's go ahead and save this. Reload it here. Okay, perfect. So now we have this all on separate lines. Okay, now I guess we'll just work on the CSS that we created. What do we call this? We call this main. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and create some CSS and I'll do padding left 1 EM. No, I'll do 2 EMs. And we'll do vertical align top and uh, give it a different background color. No, I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and reload it. Did you read that? Yeah. Maybe three, four might look better. Let's go back to four. And I'll give it three. Meet it halfway. Okay. So this looks a lot better, I think. I mean, before we had this box coming down a little bit, this was all scrunched up together. Now it's got a little bit more padding on each side. And our main content, rather than being down here or below over here, it's up here now. So I think that looks a lot better. Again, everything was perfect as far as our PHP structure and our database and our MySQL. It was just the CSS that I wanted to sharpen up a little bit. So hopefully you guys followed along and I made that easy enough for you guys to keep up with me. And uh, good luck and I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.